I didn't see the first stage. Do we do we decide? We're finally getting into this. Let's see if my guess was right. Oh, he does play Ike. Yo, dude. I'm so, like, knowledgeable about players. I knew everything. Wow. Cool. Ike. Ike versus Peach. Ike had a lot of success in the earlier uh, start of this game. Like, right when the game came out, had MKLeo just doing massive amounts of work. Got to, like, pretty much top. Yeah, he got pr pretty far in Genesis 7 or 6, mainly going Ike. And like some of them seen them, so. But other than that, we have after that, like after Leo dropped him, there's very few Ike's doing super well now. I think people just got used to dealing with Nair, I guess. <laughs> but I still think he's solid. Like he, he's not like you know getting the same results, but he's not still not a character that you can beat like with ease. You know, you still gotta respect a good Ike player when you run into the bracket because once those Nair follows start hitting, you die so so early. So uh, let's see. Battle of, oh my god, nice and narrow, but yeah, battle of pressing mad buttons versus like spaced aerials of like a sword, which historically is really good versus people. Nice, I like that. The landing, like auto cancel uh, side B, get behind him, throw the up tilt. That was all really fast to deal with. I really good crossover into the up tilt. Edge guard, oh nice. Yeah, you, you can kind of exploit Ike's recovery if you know where he's going to drift or like you know when he's going to side B and when he's going to up B, but good Ike's mix it up a lot. Okay, intercepted him that time. I'm amazed that he got past the back air wall of Peach, but there's the flow cancel there. He's really far off stage. Nice. He got the ledge snap with the side B again. Oh my god, he's hitting it side B over and over. Still living, and uh, Rage Ike is very scary, so Navi needs to, uh, yeah. He needs to get rid of that stock yesterday. Big dash attack. But ooh, how are you going to land, man? This guy is swinging the sword. Okay. Yeah, Peaches can get away with that side view from ledge pretty pretty safely. It, I, think it's just, like, I think it's pretty much safe on shield. Like, they can hit your shield with the side B and then just go behind you and, like, buffer a nair. It's kind of rough to deal with. Still, though, uh, Lorenzo looking that nice. Nair, no, Nair, Nair, but Nair up air isn't true, but it's like in a situation where you can, uh, he's at that percent where you can bait them to air dodge after and then just delay your up air and kill. This guy hitting a lot of side Bs in uh, neutral. That's more than I expect to uh, see, but there's the armor of the up B. Get him out of there. Didn't get the full hit of the up B either, but uh, still a pretty, pretty decent get off me option with Ike, I will say. Oh, this is rough. Oh, the last hit of the down smash connecting. Oh, yeah, committed to the full jab. It's going to be a free opportunity to throw him off stage. But I like how he's recovering, man. He's, he's either sweet spotting the ledge with side B or he's mixing up when he's going on the stage. And I forgot he had a down throw that kills. I haven't seen that in so long. Oh, but there's the, oh, man, the classic edge guard. When you just know they're not going to snap that ledge with their up B, you have a counter, you just hit that down B. It destroys Ike's recovery and, and Krom. That's why you. That's why he's been consistently uh, not committing to his up, up B to recover. Like he was just using side B all the time. But, uh, yeah, he's going to drop that stock, but oh, here comes. Oh, no, he didn't get that much damage off of his Peach combo. I thought that was going to be like a five second long cutscene, and Ike was going to be <laughs> at 70%. And that's a threat of Peach, too. Like, you can be winning so so much, but then once you get on your last stock at zero, they just hit you with that one combo, and then suddenly they're they're in the lead, you know? Oh, kind of crazy going for the Toad there, but he luckily didn't get punched too hard for it. Ooh, that's not fair. Man, if he, if he can get Navi at the ledge again... Oh, double? No. But if he can get Navi at the ledge again, I would love to see him, like, space a smash attack. Like, maybe an up smack. Because he's been jumping off the ledge a lot. Like, oh, there it is again. Oh, oh my god. This is suddenly super tense. But Nair back here. Ooh, yeah. You're out of here. I think he got that falling Nair from, like, uh, 
a whiff punish. Like, Navi tried to run in with it, like a grab or something like that, and he already drifted back in there. Nice. Lorenzo cleaning it up after, you know, started off really strong, and then Navi was starting to, you know, make things really scary, making that comeback happen a little bit. But he cleaned it up nicely. Started out with a strong lead, ended it up in a W. So that's what you like to see. Now you thinking about his counter pick. Yeah, we going to town. I like it. I like when people actually counter pick, you know. Because I know uh, Lorenzo banned some stages here. So, you know, just add a little bit more strategy to it, you know. Pick a different stage. I know we don't have that many legal stages in SoCal, but it's still cool to see, like, not PS2 <laughs> all, all three games. But I do think this is still an amazing Ike stage. At least this layout. Like, once he gets like his aerial, like, especially in Nair, he can, like, chain his Nair's on the platform stuff up there, like, really well. He kills super early. Nice. Oh, no, no, no air dodge. Uh, he's not going to air dodge into that down smash. Nice. Oh, see, so yeah, if he, I think if he chased him a little bit more, he could have got an aerial after the double Nair there. But, uh... Something I'm noticing, yeah, uh, Lorenzo's pretty good at hitting Navi out of float. And if you can do that really well against Peach players who want to, like, you know, space with float aerials, you can get a lot of reward and, like, even make them uh, a little bit scared to, you know, just throw out as many buttons as they used, as they're usually used to doing. Nice punish. That was a really risky down B again from Navi. A lot of times I, I don't really know what he's going for when he does his you know, down be a neutral like that, but he's the peach man. Ooh, nice up B. I like that. His shield was getting really low, and you know that peach is going to try to get that shield poke, press as many aerials uh, and tilts on shield as possible, but he just upbeat him out of there. But caught that shield drop. It's really hard to, I don't know, that move is really hard to react to when they're that close to you. Okay. Not Nair combos. Yeah. Down throw back air. Oh, Nair, I like it. What you want? Finally, Navi getting an extended combo, but man, he's still getting hit by these Nair follow-ups. He, he's getting the damage now, but yeah, he has to find a way to force Ike off stage and get like a good edge guard, possibly. That could be the start. Oh, yeah, we out of there. We've pressing a little bit on safe things. They're scrambling in neutral now, like missing everything, like spot dodging, missing tilts. Oh, yeah. Barely, barely missing that forward air, and uh, Lorenzo's gonna get that up tilt out. Oh, did he get him far enough? No, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he's too far. Dang. I thought he could act out of his air dodge a little bit faster. That would have been a pretty decent recovery. But uh, yeah, there it is, the edge guard finally from Navi. O only getting one edge guard, or no, two edge guards really in this set so far. That says a lot of how good Lorenzo's recovery, but again, good stuff from Navi. Making this close yet again, last stock. See if you can clutch this one out. Bring it to game three. Ooh. Nice. Cherry catching his landings really well. Lorenzo, that is. But opportunity, nice. Got the drag down up air to the up tilt. Oh, okay. Oh, hard read, but you can spot dodge. <laughs> you can spot dodge the there before you can get punished by it. Man, this is... This is scary yet again. <laughs> they, this is like, they started, it started out so dominant for Lorenzo, but somehow Navi always brings it to a really close last stock situation, but there it is again. Yeah, he gets that auto-canceled uh, side B to the landing F tilt to get two stocks off of Navi. And he's gonna take that one too. Oh, nice. Good stuff, Lorenzo. Again, what, representing uh, CSU Dominguez. I haven't gone there. Right? I know a few people that go there, so I don't really know how good a college it is. But it's always cool to see. Like, there's so many people these days that uh, are representing their university in Smash. You know, like UCI. We have like you know CSUDH. As you can see, I see some Long Beach people occasionally. USC is pretty big now too. Like, it's really cool. I think that's one of the best ways to like grow the Smash community, you know? Like, get involved at your school, you know? There's like so many people that you can meet that way. And the game's so big that like, you know, there's bound to be someone that plays Smash, you know? Yeah, like right now we got uh, one of the other Peach mains. This is like another Peach match. Um, Solex on the right, 
also a Peach main, this time rep representing, uh, he represents UCI, UC Irvine, and, but Lord Bahamut. 